How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode and in today's video I'm going to show you two of my favorite exercises to help you get warmed up and moving correctly for snatches or overhead squats. Now to test how effective these are, but next time you go into the gym I want you to try an overhead squat cold. So snag an empty bar, get the bar up and back as much as you can and see how low you can get in your squat without doing anything beforehand. Don't go for a jog, don't do any stretches and see how you naturally move uh, it out with an overhead squat. Then hit these exercises for about three sets of 10 reps each, and then try again and see how much better it's feeling. And that way you can kind of pinpoint if there's any other individual areas you need to stretch because uh, these ones may not have hit it for you. But we're gonna hit all the main ones. We're gonna hit our hips, we're gonna hit our ankles, we're gonna hit our back and our shoulders. So those are typically the main areas I see people a lot of struggle with when it comes to overhead squats. If you're someone that has wrist pain from overhead squats, it's either one of two things. If you haven't been working out uh, at all before coming in and doing overhead squats, probably just strengthening your wrist. So give it a little bit of time, don't go too heavy, it'll get a lot better. If you're someone that's been doing overhead squats for a long time and it just, the wrist pain is always there, it's probably because your wrists are really stiff and immobile. So grab a barbell, place, lay on, lay on the floor, place the barbell on top of your forearms, smash and roll it out with the sleeve, the, the part where you put the weights on, and that's, if it, that's really painful, then you have really tight forearms. Do that for a couple minutes each side, you should notice a significant difference in your forearms. So first, starting from the ground up, we're gonna tackle our ankles and our hips, and just make sure everything in our lower body feels warm and good. So, what I like to do is just snag a kettlebell. I don't have a heavy kettlebell, so I'm gonna snag a uh, dumbbell, but snag a moderate weight one, whatever you consider to be moderate, and we're gonna do slow tempo goblet squats. So, starting with the object underneath your chin, you're going to get your feet set, push your toes into the ground hard so you have a nice full foot on the floor and just rocking back onto your heels, keeping your ribs nice and tight, drive those knees out hard, come down nice and slow into your squat, get as low as you can, and then drive back up, keeping tension the entire time. So I'm not coming down and then bottoming out into my squat and into my back round. I'm going to drive the knees out hard, keep my core tight, keep my hips tight, and then once I feel like I'm as low as I can, I come right back up. Don't worry about getting very, very low on your first set. Again, I want you guys to do like three sets of 10 reps, so as you get more and more warm, this will feel better as you go along. That'll help really open your hips, get those ankles moving, and help you feel nice and stable in your squat. Secondly, all you need is a set of change plates. Once you get pretty proficient at these, maybe go on to a set of 10 pound plates. But starting with just two and a half or fives, you're gonna start with your elbows at a 90 degree angle. You're going to pull them to the side and squeeze your back really tight. You're going to press and lock out, make sure you don't hit the light bulbs above your head. Unpress, bring it back in. So what this is doing is bringing your shoulders together and strengthening your rhomboids, the muscles that keep those shoulders down and back. And then also the rear shoulders, the rear of your delts as well, getting those ready for getting that bar back as far as you can and stabilizing it over your head. I like to do, again, three sets, 10 or so reps. Start moderate weight, nothing really crazy here. The whole goal is just tempo, time and attention, and getting those muscles really firing. So don't just rush through them and get them done really fast. Take your time with these. And then after you do these, retest again that overhead squat. You should be feeling amazing and be able to do a lot more reps, do heavier weights with a lot less pain, irritation, whatever it may be. So try those out next time in the gym and let me know down below in the comments if you guys like these or let me know on Conservative Fitness Instagram and I'll gladly get back to you guys if you have any questions for me on there. But if you have any questions, immediately leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know and subscribe for plenty more. And then if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. It helps out a lot. We'll see you guys in the next episode.